What's up Karate Nerds? We're coming at you live and direct from Paris, France, where my brother Oliver is fighting his next professional MMA fight. Your last fight ended in a spectacular KO. And the fight before that ended with a devastating chokehold. What's the plan for this fight? I will use my footwork, which is one of my, my biggest strengths, um, to kind of lure him in and uh, use a lot of movement and kind of feel his intentions early on. I've been doing a lot of sparring, a lot of cardio, high intensity training. This guy also fights from both stances. Sometimes he switches and it's different tactics applied to depending on where you place your feet and uh, how far out from each other we are. The closer we get, the more important the angles and distance uh, becomes. Let's head over to the arena. First fight is starting right now and Oliver is fighting number three and he's looking really sharp. The only thing I'm worried about is that he had... Another day at the office. How do you feel? Yes, sir. I feel good, <laughs> except for my hand. I think <laughs> I punched him too hard in the face. Back at the dojo. Oliver, let's break down what really happened. All right, so uh, the fight starts with uh, us running towards the middle because whoever takes the middle starts controlling the fight. So we were both running towards and I stop here at a safe distance so I don't run into a strike, right? Yeah. And he was actually southpaw, yeah. Okay. So uh, I try to feel him out and uh, not do anything stupid at first. I want to feel his intentions. And he threw an outside leg kick like this. Ooh. I threw a side kick and I felt that connected very good. I think we had some more exchange. I threw another side kick and I followed up with a, a straight punch and a head kick. Stop turning his eyes. <laughs> Boom! And since that one connected, he, he had his guard up, yeah. uh, but he got wobbled, so he started backing uh, away. And I felt like I, I had him just where I wanted him. Yeah. And now he, he didn't want to stand up anymore, so no. he ran towards me somehow right. uh, to clinch up. And I, I think we ended up some, something like this. I tried to go for a trip, but it was a bad choice because I ended up somehow here yeah right uh, yeah you were under and he started trying to punch you. yes yeah so i like came I, I freed my legs to try to kick him off yeah and uh, eventually i i did one of my stand-up techniques which is like this i flip my legs here to stand up on a single leg but he uh, went for my neck for like a guillotine show right and, and uh, got under yeah like this yes but he was on the wrong side. So what you want is to be on this side to be able to choke me. But I was on this side, so this is not gonna work for you. Okay. So I came out here, yeah. and then I could free one hand to strike, yeah. and I was striking up here. Yeah. I was trying to like throw elbows and just smother him, basically. Yeah. I was covering the mouth to I make saw it hard to breathe, <laughs> dropping elbows. Uh, These are the small things that people don't really see unless they know what to look for. Yeah, and he, you, uh, he got his knee in between here. Okay. Uh, I was uh, reaching for, for your neck because he, he didn't want to stay out there with his head Wait, when I was striking. Wait, forgot the slam. Yeah, there was yeah. a huge slam somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, Wait, so let's, let's rewind a little bit. Yeah, so I think yeah. I connected with two knees to his body. Bam! Uh, so he kind of crunched and I yeah. was able to grab the legs. Oh my gosh, and that was such a beautiful slam. Can you just tell people how does that happen? Let's, let's use this. Okay, so this is the cage. Yeah, so, so the mechanics is if I try to pull you out, it's gonna, you're going to be very heavy and it's going to be hard for my back. 
So what I do is I actually push you towards the cage. So I push you in. Yeah. And now <laughs> uh, your legs become so light. Uh, so I can, I can pull them very easily because I got you pinned on my shoulders with my legs like this. All my weight is up here now. Yeah. So my legs are basically free. Yeah. And then I didn't want to slam him down here so he could use the cage to stand up again. So I picked him out. Let's try it. <laughs> so I push you in, I pull him up, and then I... Oh! <laughs> right, so now you go for the finish. Yeah. Which is the Japanese necktie. necktie. Yeah. <laughs> so the commentator actually said at first it was a dar choke because when I was punching, he tried to turn his head in like this uh, towards me so oh. I, I wouldn't be able to punch. And this is where I go for, for the dar choke usually. So I come through with my arm here to grab my bicep. And you see this bone here is on your artery, on the side of your throat, right. which is a blood choke. So yeah. here is the blood to the brain, here is the air. So I'm right. choking the blood which goes, which goes much faster. Yeah. So the door choke would have been like this. I grab my bicep and now I just need to put pressure on your head. So I simply lay down on your head. But he didn't give me the door choke because he, st he pulled his head out. So I, I didn't, couldn't reach my bicep, you see over there, but I could reach my hands. And then he turtled up. So he, right. yes. So now I had this connection. And what I did was I ran towards his legs to hook a leg. And I crank his head in I, like so I can already feel it. Yeah. So <laughs> I crank the head in like this. So you fall down here. And why I hook the leg is so you can't run away yeah, from me, yeah, right? Yeah. And what I do now is I pull your head in and I flop down here. <laughs> so you feel the choke here, right? Yeah. But it's 50% choke, 50% neck crank. Because yeah. what I do as well is I push my hips in like this. <laughs> yeah, yeah right? and his arm came up like, Mayday! Yeah. Mayday! <laughs> yeah, he was really fast on the path. Oh. I was actually surprised. Yeah. And you said afterwards that his eyes were like watery and red and everything, and then yeah. he rubbed his belly. That was my favorite part. <laughs> no, like I felt sorry for him, he, for him because he was his uh, home town. You know, he had his whole crowd. So I was just patting it. I was just gonna good yeah. fight, man. You yeah. know, but uh, apparently I rubbed his belly. I don't even remember that. But but then you bowed. Yes. Yeah, and a lot of people like that respectful, traditional martial arts attitude. And that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed that breakdown from the man himself. And leave a comment, let us know what you thought about Oliver's fight. Oliver, any last words for your supporters out there? Let's hope the next vi uh, video log will be in Sweden. Yeah. Because uh, Bellator has hinted for a long time they want to come to Stockholm. Uh, and uh, I think that would be a, a great next fight because now I have three wins, uh, all fr first round finishes as yeah. well. Uh, so that would be a good argument for me to be like a main event here yeah. in Sweden. Hometown, that would be nice. Yeah, and I hope some karate nerds show up in the audience as well. Definitely. Thank you so much for watching. Train hard, good luck, and have fun.